Today is December 7th, the date on which Delaware became the first U.S. state to be born. Uh, admitted. States get admitted to the Union, but that's the closest thing they have to a birthday. I'll just treat them like birthdays. The question is, do you share a birthday with any of them? Let's start with the Januaries. There are seven of them. Georgia on January 2nd, Alaska on January 3rd, Utah on January 4th, New Mexico on January 6th, Connecticut on January 9th, Michigan on January 26th, and Kansas on January 29th. Next, February. Unlike January, only three. Massachusetts became a state on February 6th, and we have our first shared birthday. Oregon and Arizona both attained statehood on February 14th. Moving on to March, five birthdays. Ohio and Nebraska both became states on March 1st, Florida on March 3rd, Vermont on March 4th, and Maine on March 15th. Next is April, with just two. There is Maryland on April 28th, and Louisiana on April 30th. Note that this makes March 16th through April 27th 43 consecutive days with no state admissions. May has four. There's Minnesota on May 11th, South Carolina on May 23rd, and Rhode Island and Wisconsin both became states on May 29th. So, there's a 100% correlation between becoming a state on May 29th and calling a water fountain a bubbler in the state's dialect. June's got six. We start off the month with a double. Both Kentucky and Tennessee became states on June 1st. Next, Arkansas became a state on June 15th, West Virginia on June 20th, New Hampshire became a state on June 21st, and Virginia became one on June 25th. July has three. Idaho on July 3rd, America Eve or America Anti-Eve, if you're one of the people who think when the congressional approval occurred is the date that matters, Wyoming on July 10th, and New York on July 26th. August has three. There's Colorado on August 1st, Missouri on August 10th, and Hawaii on August 21st. September has only one. California is the only state that attains statehood in September and it did so on the 9th. October also has only one. It is Nevada becoming a state on October 31st. This means that September 10th through October 30th is a 51-day drought of state admission days. November's got six birthdays. There is both North Dakota and South Dakota on November 2nd, which represents the only time in U.S. history two states were admitted on the exact same date. In all the other shared birthdays, the states were admitted in different years. Montana became a state on November 8th and Washington on November 11th. Oklahoma became a state on November 16th and North Carolina on November 21st. And finally, December has the most with nine. Before Delaware, well, in the course of the year, not in chronological history, there is Illinois, which came to statehood on December 3rd. Delaware, the first state, has December 7th, as mentioned. Happy birthday, Delaware. Mississippi's got December 10th, Indiana on December 11th, Pennsylvania on December 12th, Alabama on December 14th, New Jersey on December 18th, Iowa on December 28th, and finally, Texas on December 29th. And there you have it, the birthdays of all 50 states. This is 2 Lambda Plus Black. I am Heirua. This video is supported by my patrons who you can join via the link in the description. And as always, remember to love the night.